Hi guys, this is Mary. And before I show you card number six in the 12 part series, uh, the 12 days of Christmas cards, I want to tell you who won the Christmas cheer cartridge. Sophie was going to be here with me to help me tell you, but yesterday was her birthday and she's still being a little party animal today. So maybe I can get her in the next video. But I used random generator to pick the number of the winner. And the winner is comment number one, Suzanne or Sue. So Sue, if you will contact me at my email address on the sidebar and give me your address, I'll get this cartridge right out to you and you can start making some fabulous cards and scrapbook pages. Thanks so much to all of you. I wish I could have given everyone a cartridge, but we're going to do this again soon. So keep watching for that. But uh, I went to Joann's the other day and I found this slab of paper and it has got some awesome papers in it. Uh, a lot of them are really good for scrapbook pages. They have little uh, journaling blocks already built into them. Great colors, lots of red and green, but there's some gold. Back in the back, there's some really pretty blues that could be used for something other than Christmas cards. Look at that, the pretty snowflakes. There's one in here with a lot of paisley. I've just got to do something with it. Probably won't be able to find it right now. There it is. Isn't that gorgeous? But uh, this was the inspiration for card number six. I just thought the colors were so pretty. So that's what I used. And here it is. Um, I used a dark green background for my card and I cut the paper to get as many of the uh, snowflakes as I could in the burgundy and the green. And the background of the beige has some little snowflakes in it. But I used my winter woodland cartridge to cut the poinsettia. And you'll find the poinsettia on page 40 in the cart or in the manual. I first cut the entire poinsettia in dark green at three inches and then I hit shift and cut it again in red also at three inches and I layered that on top with foam tape and I also cut a little small one at an inch and a quarter to go down here and then if you go over to layers you'll find the center for your poinsettia I cut that in kind of a marigold color uh, also at three inches and for this one I cut it at an inch and a quarter. And then I took some stickles which I love and to define each of the petals I went all around it and also put a little dot in the center. And after I got my uh, green ribbon on I just thought it would be pretty to add one here too. The joy stamp came from my uh, hero art stamps I got a while back with the little owls and I stamped it, here it is right here, the word joy. There was a little corner down here and I stamped it in green. But the entire card is four and a quarter by five and a half and I did it long ways. I thought that would be nice to do for a change. My pattern paper mat is four by five and a quarter. But I hope you like this one guys. It was super simple, very easy, very quick. If you're in a hurry and you want to get some cards done real quickly this is a good one it has everything to do with the pattern paper I just stuck stuck with the three colors and it just went really quick but you guys have a great day and congratulations to Sue on winning the Christmas cheer cartridge and I'll see you guys again soon with card number seven have a great day bye